Uh, this is Lauren, and I am here with Jeff doing the Weekend Extra. So we just kicked off the first week of our new series, Asking for a Friend. And so this whole series, um, I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to see where it goes and where mm-hmm. it takes us and just kind of digging in a little bit deeper into um, just like those hard conversations that we yeah. don't want to have. Um, and so it was interesting to hear in the sermon just talking about some of those um, just the way that we look at our life and how we do things yeah. and how like we are living a life here in our church that sometimes it can feel a little bit fake or it can feel that we're doing things for the wrong reasons. And so um, just looking at this today, like what are some of like the most common ways that we lie to God yeah. in the church now? Yeah. So we, we talked this weekend about Ananias and Sapphira and, you know, the, he sold the field, it kept back part of the money. Uh, and gave the rest to God. And the issue wasn't the money. The issue, Peter says, you know, you've lied to God, you lied to the Holy Spirit, you you, um, you basically tried to test the Holy Spirit, and they ran into God's judgment and, and His holiness. And that does show up in our lives. I actually think one of the one of the biggest ways that we lie or try to deceive God is by hiding sin. And so we'll we'll put a facade out of self righteousness, right? So that somehow I'm beyond this, or that is beneath me, and only people like that struggle with those things, you know. And and when you look at through the the New Testament, Jesus pushed into that stuff all the time. He's like, if you hate your brother, it's murder. Mm-hmm. If you look lustfully at a woman, it's adultery. And, and that's what he was doing. He was pushing against this self-righteousness. And he, he, he called the Pharisees like whitewashed tombs, brood of vipers, all these, all these <laughs> names and or descriptions really is what they were. But that's what he was saying. He was like, you look great on the outside. You're full of death on the inside. And then to come into the presence of God, I think one of the key things with Ananias and Sapphira is it was an act of worship. So taking that money and placing it at the disciples' feet was really it was really a, a an act or an expression of worship, and so Peter was like, "You come into the presence of God, you're gonna lie, mm-hmm. like he doesn't know, like he doesn't understand." And <clears throat> for the believer, it, like our life is an act of worship, and our relationship with the church, our relationship even with other people. It all reflects that. So I think that kind of stuff yeah. is where that shows up in, in our lives in, in big, big ways. Yeah, I love that. Um, something else, like kind of coming off of that, that you said, we were talking about like holiness. And sometimes when we are just living our lives, it can feel like, oh, like if I have time to do this, I will. Yeah. Or if I want to, I will. So like how can we change like our hearts and our mindsets to come to a place of like real authentic worship in yeah. our everyday lives. Yeah, I, th- I think the, a lot of times as believers, um, we take the holiness of God for granted. Mm. And so we'll lean into passages. Jesus says, I'm your friend, I'm your brother, you know, we're, we're joining others with him. All that stuff is completely true. And we should think of Christ that way. But we also have to remember that he is Christ. He is other, right? So he's God. And so I think when we get flippant, like, ah, it's just, it's just that sin, or it's just my, it's just, you know, I haven't been to church in a month, or mm-hmm. community's not important to me, or it's just the Bible, and those kind of attitudes, there's a point that we have to stop and say, wait a minute, there's a reverence, what the Bible will call a fear of God, that I... I uh, I am standing before a holy, righteous God, and I have to remember that. In fact, some of the – you lead worship here a lot at Grace, and yeah. our worship songs will often reflect that, but our lives don't. So we'll sing that. We'll sing about being mm-hmm. in the presence of God, and we'll engage that thought in that moment, but we don't think about, like, going to Taco Bell and being in the presence of God. <laughs> like, our lives are yeah. lived in the presence of God. So we compartmentalize <clears throat> and – and we forget that we serve a righteous God. So this is where I think the spiritual disciplines help. Like when I'm spending consistent time in God's Word, consistent time in worship, consistent time with God's people, I'm gathering with the church um, in prayer, those kind of things. Like it, 
that stuff keeps me on a regular diet of, of who God is. I, this is what happens. Every relationship we have, we take for granted. <laughs> it's, it's our nature, right? Yeah. It's yeah. just the way it is. So we take our friends for granted, our parents, our spouses, or wh- whoever. You know, we, we every relationship we have, we take for granted. And when that relationship is, then something happens in that relationship, we remember to value it, right? So mm. I was just talking with a family um, where the, the husband had a heart attack. And I'm like, right, the minute that you think about, oh, my goodness, I almost lost him Suddenly, you don't take your husband for granted. You don't take your dad for granted. You're like, oh, wait. Yeah. Well, the time in God's word, time in worship, communion, gathering together, it just, those things serve as clicking us in. Like, that's right. Mm -hmm. You know, God is my friend. and He does journey with me. And he's my creator. And he is my God. And I, I don't hang with Jesus. I worship him. I think stuff like that. And it, that's the role that that plays in those relationships. Wow. I loved all of that. Thank you so well, much. You're, you are welcome. <laughs> thank you so much for your words of wisdom. So, all right, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in uh, for our weekend extra. So make sure to check out this series. I think it's going to be really great. So we will see you guys next week.